Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Never, never, never heard, heard of it. Never heard of Salvia. It's not a household name in Southwest Florida, yet. But the hallucinogenic herb Salvia divinorum is here, and it seems to have a following. It just feels like you're being pulled back, being through, pulled a back through a tunnel. Pulled back through a tunnel. Pulled back through a tunnel. This teen told us he uses salvia. He buys it at a store in Lee County that sells smoking accessories. Uh, you just feel like, uh, sort of like the blood's like coming out of your veins. We sent a Wink News producer to that same shop to buy the herb, but it was selling so fast, she had to go back several times to finally make the purchase. But people who want to buy salvia don't even have to leave their house. They can simply log on. Dozens of websites market salvia, some praising it as the most potent legal or illegal herb in existence. Proponents of the herb say salvia is not a party drug. It's mostly like a thing to do by yourself. A users group says the plant has a well-established history of safe use, first by the Mazatec Indians of Mexico as a powerful visionary herb. Many salvia distributors offer an instruction sheet to new users encouraging them to have a sitter during trips and not to drive. Those looking for a legal alternative to marijuana should take note. Marijuana, I mean, you get high and that's, you know, you know what you're doing. Hallucinogens can really freak you out. I mean, I've, I've done a couple of them and it's really, it didn't appeal to me. I mean, I've had friends at school that have had a really bad trip on them and totally freak out. And it's, I mean, it's not a fun thing to watch. Loyal followers of salvia are concerned the herb's new popularity will draw scrutiny from law enforcement. Last month, a bill was introduced to Congress in California to outlaw salvia divinorum and its active principal, Salvinorin A. But on the streets of Southwest Florida, law enforcement agencies we talked to are just hearing about it and wouldn't comment on camera. Even urine tests can't detect salvia yet. But right now, it's legal anyway. Legal everywhere, except in Australia. Websites that sell salvia won't ship it there. Some argue salvia divinorum should remain legal. I think it should. I don't really see any harm in it. For parents, for police, it's just one more new substance to add to the growing list of mind and body altering herbs and chemicals. I think most drugs that alter your mind where you can't think right and put you in a different thought, you know, where you don't know where you are, it should be stopped. Those looking for it will continue to find it, if they want it badly enough, without legal consequences, at least for now.